I know you're very excited to watch this video, but before we get into it, let me tell you about Red's Flies. Red's Flies is an online fly store where you can get premium flies at a discount price. And you can get them even more discounter using code HUGE for 15% off. Red's Flies has all the flies that you'll need for getting stuck in trees or hanging up on rocks. And now they're offering curated fly assortments like this Trout Essentials box, a few different streamer variety packs, or if you're feeling saucy, you can go with the Pertagon Party Pack. That sounds fun. All right, now let's do this huge thing. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and today's video is all about fly fishing podcasts. One thing that I learned in researching this video is that there is a lot of variety out there in fly fishing podcasts. So first, let me tell you what I like in a podcast, so when I get all judgy later, you know where I'm coming from. I like long podcasts. Three hours? Great. Bring it on. I like podcasts from people that are knowledgeable and experienced. I'm not interested in going on your fly fishing journey with you. I want to learn from experts. If you're not knowledgeable, you better at least be entertaining. I like podcasts that are about fly fishing, not sometimes about fly fishing. So those are the things I like in a podcast. You might be completely different. Now, I will give you some of my opinions on these podcasts, but I'm not going to rake them over the coals too badly. This is meant to be informative and to help you find a podcast that you will like. It took me a long time to research this. Lots of windshield time. I listened to at least two full episodes of all of these podcasts so that I can feel somewhat educated about them. But don't think for a second that I'm familiar with the full catalog of all of these podcasts. I'm not. I'm going to break them down for you and tell you what you can expect from each podcast that I'll talk about. If you are a podcaster and I say something bad about you, don't take it personally. This is meant as constructive criticism. Keep plugging away. You'll be just fine even if some loser on YouTube doesn't like you. As always, if I don't mention your favorite podcast, you can whine about it in the comments and then I'll criticize you on Instagram. That's how this works. All right, let's get on with it. We'll start with The Goat. Tom Rosenbauer and the Orvis Fly Fishing Guide podcast. Tom covers a wide variety of all things fly fishing. You'd be hard pressed to find someone more knowledgeable about all aspects of fly fishing. The format of this podcast keeps things interesting by answering listener questions at the beginning, followed by an interview with a guest. Tom has a reputation for being a bit dry, and he might be, but he's also funny, or at least I think so. My favorite episode of Tom's podcast is probably the one where I was a guest because I like to hear my myself talk. No secret there. The next podcast is probably my favorite, the Taylor Trash Fly Fishing Podcast. Now, I'm biased here because these guys are my friends. This podcast is a roundtable format where they just chat with each other for the most part. Fishing-wise, this podcast is mostly about saltwater, specifically Mosquito Lagoon and the surrounding area, but they do some trout and smallmouth stuff also. These guys talk a lot about fly fishing culture and the industry, which I like. And there's a fair bit of talk that isn't about fly fishing fishing at all. And like me, these guys aren't afraid to talk a little smack and call people out. The coolest thing about the guys at Taylor Trash is the community that they have created. I don't know of any other fly fishing podcast that regularly interacts with their listeners in meat space. They're also doing a lot of good for their community and their fishery. They raise a lot of money that goes towards conservation. Have you heard of the Flyberry Project? Yeah, that's them too. If you'd like to hear the huge fly fisherman origin story, there's a Taylor Trash podcast about it. Next, we'll do one that you've probably heard about, the Millhouse podcast. This is legendary tarpon angler Andy Mill and his son Nicky. Millhouse is mostly interviewing guides and anglers based in Florida. There's an aspect to this podcast that's about documentation and creating a historical record, letting old timers tell incredible stories that might otherwise be forgotten. Cool stuff, but sometimes Andy talks about himself too much when he should be interviewing. It feels a little industry mouthpiece sometimes, and please, stop with the pulley system in the garage. We've heard about it a hundred times already. Also, the name Poon House is a bit cringy. My favorite episodes of Millhouse are the Skip Smith interviews. It's mostly offshore and not fly fishing, but holy crap, it's riveting. Next podcast we'll talk about is Anchored with April Vokey. Of course, April is a queen and there just isn't anything bad to say about her. The Anchored podcast is more than just fly fishing. You'll hear about hunting, homesteading, and interviews of people in the outdoor space. My favorite episode of April's podcast is the interview with the hero we need but don't deserve, copper-plated sixes. Moving on, the Captain's Collective with Hunter Levine. This podcast is mostly saltwater fishing related, but there's a good mix of other stuff too. It's 
interview format and you'll hear from some well-known names where they just regurgitate what you've heard from them in other places and also interviews with people that you've never heard of that have good stories to tell. Next one, Trout Bitten. In the first few minutes of the first episode I listened to, these guys were making fun of people that use the word butter when describing brown trout. So I liked them immediately. Trout Bitten is driven by Dominic Swentoski and he and his friends talk about fly fishing mostly from an instructional standpoint. Super informative, but do we really need a five part series about dry dropper rigs? Hey, some people love that stuff, not me. Next up, the Wet Fly Swing podcast with Dave Stewart. Dave has almost 400 episodes interviewing people in and around fly fishing. There are a lot of episodes with people behind a brand or company, so if you're curious about a product, you might get some info here that you can't find anywhere else. My favorite episode of Wet Fly Swing is number 223, where Dave interviews the most handsome fly fishing YouTuber. The next one we'll do is called The Destination Angler. The host is Steve Haig, and he brings guests in on each podcast to talk about fishing in different places. If you're looking for info on an area, this might be a good resource for you. But some of the episodes are just ads for a lodge, and some are towing the line with hot spotting. So there's some ethical issues there for me. All right, next podcast we'll talk about was recommended by you guys when I asked about it on Instagram. It's called Dads on the Fly. Uh, do you guys know me at all? This podcast is fine, I guess, but it's very wholesome. People seem to like it, but it's just not for me. Sorry. I like things a little rough around the edges. Now we'll do brown trout and bridge beers. This is another sit around and chat podcast with occasional interviews. This is a driftless region based podcast. So they talk about a lot of stuff around there and around Minneapolis. They seem like chill fellows with terrible taste in beer. So I feel right at home when I'm listening. When I swing through next fall, I'd love to have a bridge beer with you guys. The next podcast is called The River Rambler and it's hosted by talented artist and friend of mine, Richard Harrington. The River Rambler is mostly about spray poles and spray pole fishing and it's interview format with a bunch of people who know a lot about riffle hitches and splicing fly lines together. I haven't been on Rick's podcast yet because my snap tea is garbage. Maybe someday. Let's do a few more. How about casting a cross? Matthew describes his podcast as exploring the quarry and culture of fly fishing. Episodes are short, like 20 to 30 minutes. There's a wide variety of topics from instructional to more philosophical and ethical, which is what I like. If you're looking for short podcast episodes, check out Casting a Cross. Now let's switch it up and talk about a few dead podcasts. They aren't making new episodes, but the backlog is worth listening to. First up, Down the Path with Will. Will Rice. There are two seasons of Down the Path. The first season is about an angler that disappeared while fishing near Ishkalak, Mexico. The second season is about an angler and guide who were murdered on their skiff near San Pedro, Belize. I don't think Will is an investigative journalist, but he did a great job with these podcasts. The next dead podcast is called The Drake Cast, backed by The Drake Magazine and produced by Elliot Adler. I said this is a dead podcast, but as I was putting this together, I saw that they released two episodes in 2020. 22. So maybe it's not really dead, but it seems like it's dead. So Elliot, you might want to do something about that. The Drake cast subject matter is kind of all over the place, but it's all fly fishing related. If you want to hear me talk about low lives who fish for spawning trout, check out episode 49. All right, let's finish it up with Barely Live with Charleston based Paul Puckett, who's known for his doodles and Mad Mike Benson. Let's all congratulate Mike on recently becoming a daddy. I think Barely Live is the funniest fly fishing podcast out there. Yeah, they talk about fishing and stuff, but the real gold is from recurring characters like Richard Queso and Mike Smithinson. Between the regular bits, they interview guests from around the fly fishing world. Barely Live might not be totally dead, but I haven't heard a new episode in a while. My favorite episode is number 42 because me. So that's it. That certainly isn't a comprehensive list of all the fly fishing podcasts out there, but it's enough to get you started. Again, if you feel that I personally attacked you by not mentioning your favorite podcast, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Or if you want to plug your own boring podcast, feel free to do that too. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, remember, fly fishing is not a personality and stay huge. Oh, there are definitely a few podcasts that I left out on purpose because I can. It's my video.